All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. Obviously, we got a little bit of a change in studio with uh, everything that's going on in the world right now. Can't get up to school to shoot things in my office, so I had to bring everything home, and I'm shooting in uh, in my living room at my house. Hopefully, you can see a little bit of the uh, the screen in back. It's 85 degrees here in Florida, a tension pond in the back, so not a bad setting to do a video. Make sure you check out some of our sponsors, GameStrap, Sideline Replay System we use. If you're looking for a highly reliable, highly affordable Sideline Replay System, great customer service, check out GameStrat. There'll be a link in the description box down below uh, that takes you directly to GameStrat's uh, website. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. We have one in our weight room. Get thousands of reps working on striking, elbows in, thumbs up. Don't need a partner. Don't need anybody holding a bag or a medicine ball. It's just you and the Difference USA ultimate striking machine. Just play football. Digital software taking a program next to, to the next level. It's the only play drawing diagram tool that I use uh, if I need to draw things for webinars or clinics. So make sure you check out Just Play. All right, and then Defense Coordinator One in game app, letting you use live in game data to make critical in game adjustments. So make sure you check out Defensive Coordinator One. And then Dome Hats, which is a sponsor, has been a sponsor for the last year and a half uh, of Play Fast Football, a major sponsor at our clinics. This is my black Play Fast fitted hat, all right, with uh, play fast on the back, and then uh, you can change custom ability, custom uh, online hat builder, and your ability to make your own custom hats with your logo. Change the panels on the side, change the top, change the under. You can uh, you can make um, the the sandwich on the lid a different color. There, you can change the eyelid color or button color. So make sure you check out uh, Dome Headwear. They're a great company located here in Northeast Florida, and they, they want to uh, help every staff out there in every state. So make sure you check out Dome. All right. So today, what we're going to talk about: consistency versus complexity. All right. As I get older and and on in my career now, and been doing this as a head coach for 19 years. All right, I really strive a little bit more for consistency over complexity. When I was younger, I used to get into all the different schemes and all the different things you can do, and I tried to do everything that I learned in the off season and everything I learned, you know, watching videos and watching clinic tapes and going to clinics and watching college games and NFL games, and I tried to be as complex as possible, but what ended up happening was I couldn't coach at all and our kids couldn't play at all. So as I get on in my career now, what I look for is a little bit more consistency, and it's one of the reasons we moved uh, two to three, three stack on defense. We have been playing um, five DBs probably for the last 10 to 12 years. Um, that's been a mainstay in our program. We were a four, two, five, but then we moved to the three, three stack to get a little bit more consistent with our run fits. But with our five secondary players and our split field coverages on the back end, all right, we get the consistency when we're trying to uh, do some different things, knowing that we have players on the back end that have the athletic ability to do the things we want. All right, so. When we talk about all right, the consistency of our run fits, we try to keep these six guys in the box, and we try to keep their reads and their keys the same when we're playing any of our base defensive structures. And then when we start to move, obviously we just uh, we make our key the gap that we're moving to, or or we need to identify where we're moving so that we can key the next lineman over or whichever way we're moving. If we're moving from the center towards the guard, we got to key that guard. But Within our base run fits, we keep it as consistent as possible with these six. When it goes one back or it changes, we don't do anything in coverage in our base system that makes these guys change their run fits. Even if we push and pull our backers a little bit, we keep our run fits consistent. All right, our, our ends, uh, my end and my anchor are going to be B or C gap players based on the block rec they get. The lion and ram are going to be B or C gap players based on the block they get. The nose and the mic are going to play off the A gaps. And then the mic, the mic has the ability to scrape and do some different things based on the reads he gets, but those six gaps are going to be played by those six players. And then based on what we're doing in coverage on the back end, it, it, they'll change a little bit. But when we look for that consistency versus complexity, one of the things when we start to pressure, all right, so if we send, if we send six man pressure, okay, we like to use the six guys that are in the box, all right, to, to be the guys that are involved in the pressure because we like to keep the five back end guys involved in coverage so that if we wanted to go with a uh, two under three deep hot coverage or if we wanted to go with a zero coverage or if we wanted to go with a peel coverage if we keep all right the, if we keep the, the six guys in the box as the blitzers and we change the track that they're coming from and we keep the five skill players as the coverage guys we get a little bit more consistency with what we're doing because these guys know they're always going to cover these guys are, know that they're always going to be involved all right, in the pressure. 
Okay, now, we do some things every once in a while where we add a safety into the blitz just for some field side stuff and just as a slight change up. But 90% of the time, if we six man pressure, it's gonna be our six guys in the box with these five guys playing coverage. Now, but a, a lot of people in the 3-3 stack, they like it because of the multiplicity of movement and how complex you can get sending guys from all over the place and bringing the safeties down and sending corners and the stack guys can move. And the complexity of that is good, but do you get consistent enough to where your kids can play? And that's the big thing for me. I, again, as I am, am older now in my career, I've been doing this for 22 years, 19 years as a head coach, I want the consistency to know that when I make a call, Okay, when I make a call, I know that our guys know what to do. They're in a position to do it, and I'm putting guys that are better at blitzing as blitzers and guys that are better in coverage as coverage guys. All right, and then behind it, I know that I can get to my hot coverage, my zero coverage, or my peel pressures if I want to keep one free in the middle. I know that I can play man. I know that I can play zone concepts, and I can keep everything very consistent for our guys. All right, again. Could we get complex with some of our blitzes to where, all right, you know, now could we get it to where you're bringing different guys from different angles? So now if you get a safety down, all right, so now if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to, all right, uh, possibly work the nose away there, work the D line one gap away, send the mic in the A gap, bring this guy here with this guy coming off the edge, all right, and you could take your free safety, all right, and he could be there and now you could still play your hots or your zeros or your peels but it's different guys doing it now all of a sudden he's got to become a blitzer all right and he's got to become a dropper is it possible yeah do we do it yes do we do it a lot no because it breaks a little bit away from the consistency of what we're doing it makes it more complex you got two coming off the edge from the field two coming off the edge from the side of the back is real good because one can chase and one can play qb all right, two coming off the edge from the field. If they're trying to run perimeter runs, it's great. You force the ball back into the boundary. So we do it. I'm not saying that we don't do it. But I like, all right, I like to keep the pressures as consistent as possible with these guys in the pressure and my back five guys in the coverage just because it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about what we're practicing, what we're doing, and who's doing those things. Okay? And then... One of the other things, all right, that, that we do a little bit and we're going to do more of next year, okay, is because we play this version of the hot coverage, all right, when we send six, all right, so when we send six, we play that version of the two under three deep hot coverage, okay. Next year, something that, that I did a little bit of this, uh, this season and last season, but not as much until I got confirmation from um, guys, a uh, college guy that came in to, to, to recruit on the defensive side of the ball, and he had spent some time in places that had done this stuff, and he gave me confirmation that you can get away with sending five, all right? So you can get away with sending five, however you want to send it, and you can now play, all right, your three under, three deep, the same way as you play your hot stuff, which means vision and break. So now, those two guys, all right, are always used to playing their vision and break stuff. They're used to the techniques. They're used to reading off the cue. They're used to breaking off his front shoulder, pulling themselves on a string, all right, going 100 miles an hour when his front hand comes off the ball. They're used to doing that. Now you take a third guy and you make him that middle hole guy, but you don't teach him any different, all right? You let him play whatever gap's open. So right now he's got this open A gap first, and if it's passed, you let him read off the quarterback, and he now plays the same as those two guys, so now that's your three under three deep playing vision and break. That's for consistency so that I can go from a six man pressure and a five man pressure and play versions of the same coverage. Same thing for the corner, same thing for the free, same thing for the down safeties. I just gotta teach one of these stack backers how to be a vision and break guy as a middle hole play. That gives me the consistency that I need to go from six man hots to five man hots. All right, now we wouldn't call the coverage hot, all right, we actually, we actually call this cover six, and I know that it's different, all right? I know that it's different than most people would, would view as cover six. Cover six for us used to be quarter, quarter, half. Cover six for Saban, I, I think, is a weak side uh, safety rotation. Not exactly sure, but I think that's what it is. So cover six has different meanings for people. The reason we called it cover six is because it was three under, three deep. So we told our guys, hey, anytime we play cover six, you can assume we're rushing five, and we're playing three under, three deep hot coverage. All right, with three vision and break players, not two vision and break players. Now, that is for consistency. If you want it to be a little bit more complex, all right, and, and you want it to get a little bit tighter in coverage maybe, all right, you would play a system of match 
carry, and deliver with your underneath players. All right, they would play match, carry, deliver off the two and the three, and, and you'd get a little bit more complex in your coverage, and you might get a little bit tighter, all right, in your coverage, and you may be able to pattern match things a little bit better, all right, but what you don't get is consistency, so now you've got to teach match, carry, deliver, all right, along with your hot pressures and the other things. If we do it this way that I, that I talked about first, we get consistency, to where now we can do things that are very similar to each other and we can carry over things in those pressure packages. All right, so again, it's consistency versus complexity. I know there's a lot of people out there that, that aren't going to agree with my version of how I do things. There's gonna be people that wanna get more complex. They want to you know, shift and bump and move linebackers around. Their run fits are going to change. Their reads are gonna change a little bit and that's fine. There's no one way to play football. All right, what I'm talking about is a way that I am getting comfortable with doing things as I get older, which means I have more experience with what my kids do, have done, can do, what we can't do, what we haven't done. All right, I'm gaining more experience as I get older, and hopefully I get a little bit wiser with some things. All right, so it, it helps me do things that make me comfortable. Again, this isn't for everybody. This is just my style of thinking, my opinion, like in all the videos I tell you, these are my opinions, all right? Uh, remember, uh, stay safe out there, guys. It's, it's uh, unprecedented what we're going through right now in our lifetime probably all right but just remember there's been a lot of things there's been great depression world war one world war two a lot of different things that have gone on we've made it out we've made it out better because of it stay safe out there take all the precautions don't panic about when football is going to be back guys if everything goes the way it's planned football will be back take some time to relax study some things get smarter but don't panic everything will work out in the end the way it's supposed to work out remember to click the subscribe button remember to click the notifications if you are a subscriber so you know every time we put videos out or if i go on youtube live you know that click thumbs up or thumbs down on the videos to let us know what you think about it and, and let us know about the, con the content that we need to provide or not provide always give me uh, a shout in, in the messages I, I respond to 90% or 95% of the messages as long as I can see them and they come to on my end. I will respond. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know about future topics, anything else you want to discuss, all right? Check me out on Twitter at CoachMac8740, Instagram CoachMac8740. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast, and I'll see you guys next time.